Today let's learn about ionic grid system. Please visit the link present on your screen right now because this is a project which we built previously. I am just showing you about the grid system here. To get started you need to visit that link I showed you. I will open this project and open this page inside our templates folder. So we have tab dash here. I will open that. This is the dashboard file. Let me show you. I will type welcome to Technotip and save it which must reflect on our browser and it does. I will select this from ion content to closing ion content. I will clear this off and save it. So we get the blank screen here. Now I will add the divs with the class row and with the class column the nested div has the class column col this is the simplest row column grid system so let me open up the css file and let me make it span here for the purpose of css whichever divs present inside this span must have a light gray background with a margin of 1% okay this is what i wanted to achieve just for the purpose of illustration so what you saw is equal spacing now if you want to have specific width you could sp you could specify the numbers here the first column takes 50 percent and the second two shares the available width there you could specify the width for all the columns or just the one which you are sure about the last one just takes the takes whatever is remaining oh, let me delete this it will take 50 50 percent of the width now I'll show you top bottom and centering of the columns for the purpose of illustration I will let this last column take whatever space is left off left off and I will type 1 2 3 4 just for illustration purpose so I will add the class call center hyphen center not call center save it and you could see the first column is centered well let me show you top top center and bottom all the three here call hyphen top call hyphen center and the last one is call hyphen bottom these are the classes just save it and have a look at it on our browser it works the same on your devices and emulators too. So this is top, center and bottom classes. So let me remove all these things. So row itself we could uh, adjust the spacing that is we could place the row at the top or at the center or at the bottom using row top, row center and row bottom. Row bottom to place it at the bottom. So let's also see the column offsets that is if you want to leave an offset of 25% and then start this column this column width let it be 25% too and the remaining two columns also 
sharing 25% of the width. So first leave offset of 25 then take 25% and then 25 for this column and 25 for the last column. Let's save it and have a look at the browser. So in total, in total it will be taking 100% of the screen except for we have given margin 1% just for illustration purpose. So let's cut this off and place it after the first after this column that is first a column and then an offset and then a column and then another column. After first column leave an offset of 25%. I'm just replacing uh, it's replacing its order. That's it. Well, as we are discussing about grid systems here, why not even take a look at uh, responsive grid system? Before that, you also make I want to make you sh make sure that you could give any values like this, as I'm showing here. If you leave one div with class call, it will take remaining amount of width. You could give any number and it will calculate the percentage depending on the width of your device. Also know that to get a responsive grid, you could add response-sm for smaller devices. For responsive iPhone SM smaller than landscape phones, for responsive iPhone MD for smaller than portrait tablet and responsive iPhone LG for devices smaller than landscape tablets. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon etc. And make sure to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.